Okay, welcome back. And this is the part four of the second E lecture. Now you're given a feet. Uh, the feet given size is actually feet 80 and it is going to be H9 D10. So to start this approach first we need to draw a box. Always good to draw a box. Uh, uh, a box to write down all the number. So let's draw a box. One on one side we call it H and I the tolerance for the hole and D then the tolerance for the shaft and the nominal size is 80 so I need to go and look at the table I found that it's under hole basis and if I look carefully I realize that the numbers I want to gather from here will be 80 look at the 80 here and then I have the H and I this box. I bring up the important numbers over there. I found that it's actually called it has a number called plus forty seventy four zero and minus one hundred, and the other last number is minus two two zero. That's are the four numbers I need to get. This is the easy one because you can pick the number directly from single box. As the example go further, you realize that it's getting more complicated. After getting a number, this table is no longer that useful. I'll just remove it. Now, what is useful about this number is this. What is the whole maximum size? Huh? This from the whole. So the maximum size on top, the bigger one, so I will say it is 80.000 plus, plus uh, 0.074. Remember that this 74 is actually three decimal places away. And how, why is that so is if you look carefully onto the table earlier, it shows you that unit is unit is 0 0.001 so 74 represents 0 0.074 now the whole minimum size is 0 so it's very simple I just say 0 0.000 sharp maximum size the maximum is the one on top uh, so it will be 0 0.000 0, 0. subtract 0. Point, not 100 uh, subtract 0. 0.100 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, subtract 0. 0.220 and let's use our calculator to get the numbers there this is 80.074 this will be 79.900 and this will be 79.7800 so this is 79.7800 now minimum clearance means the smallest gap smallest allowance uh, smaller allowance we will take smallest allowance we will take the whole minimum whole minimum subtract the shaft maximum and maximum allowance will take the whole maximum subtract the shaft minimum one way to interpret this is the allowance, I mean the parent give you the allowance. Huh? So to get the allowance, the largest allowance, you take the maximum hole minus the minimum shaft. And minimum allowance will be the minimum hole minus the maximum shaft. Huh? And this has its orientation, means if it's, if it's positive. Huh? Let's say this case I have positive, I say plus 0 0.100 and plus 
zero point two nine four. You see, there are two positive here. Positive and positive means what? Clearance fee. Then always got gap. If you subtract the allowance uh, and you realize that it is, it is negative, a positive and negative, then this kind of fit is called transition fit. And if you happen to get negative and negative, then this is interference fit. So basically, there are three types of fit, and the orientation of the fit could be gathered from here, from the minimum allowance and maximum allowance, looking at the sign. That's where I will end this slide.